Welcome to Geek Girls. This is Mika. I'm Mika. Today we are discussing a few trailers that we've watched of some of the upcoming movies that we plan to go see and you might want to check out yourself. The first movie that we're going to discuss is Thor Ragnarok. It premieres on November 3rd. It is the last movie in the Thor series or trilogy. I'm excited for this movie. I know there are some fans of Marvel that aren't really as excited for the Thor movies as a whole. Um, I do not fall into that category. I've enjoyed all of the movies for what they were. And I'm excited to see where this looks like comedy-filled movie will take us. Mm. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting Valkyrie who's played by Tessa Thompson. I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with the Hela character because I think she's an iteration of a couple of characters together being um, Death as well as the Hela character, but I'm not sure. I want to see how this movie will play into Thanos' plan leading us into Infinity Wars. Do you have any thoughts? No. All right, then the next movie we will talk about will be Murder on the Orient which will come out on November 10th. We probably will see that movie on the same day as Justice League, which will come out on the 17th, and we'll just kind of do those movies on the same day. Murder on the Orient is a remake of the Agatha Christie um, movie, Murder on the Orient, which features the the detective um, Hercule Poirot. Um, I believe you still can catch some of the Poirot series on Netflix, um, she used to have a series on there. Well, Netflix used to also carry her other series, which is Miss Marple, which I was a huge fan of as yes. well. With that being said, when I heard that there was going to be a remake, I was skeptical because, you know, some of the remakes that we've had over the last couple of years haven't been the best. Blade Runner probably being the, I think, the closest... Well, that wasn't really a remake. That was just... Um, the next movie so I guess that doesn't really count getting back to the main point um I was nervous when I saw the trailer I must admit that the trailer actually got me excited to see this movie in fact I was talking with one of my friends and actually told him I'm not excited to see Murder on Orient at all I'm not even gonna waste my time on to see it but the trailer actually made me feel different so I hope when we go see the movie um I get those good vibes from it the way I actually got from the trailer. It looks to be very close to the original version of the movie. So I'm excited for that. Yes, I was going to add that um, it seems like the plot is going to be pretty much the same where they're solving a murder um, on a train and based on her parole, which I'm a fan of. And um, I'm excited about this movie as well. So I definitely agree with you there. And also the actress that plays Rey in Star Wars is in this movie, which I didn't initially know. So, All right. The next movie, as I've already mentioned, is going to be Justice League. I don't really have to say much about it. It's going to be awesome. Joss Whedon, Zack Snyder collaboration. Um... Um, the only thing I will say is I hope that we actually see some cameos in the movie. But as far as the trailer goes, I'm sold every trailer that I've seen. I don't want to see anything more. I'm going to go in from this point until November 16th. I'm not going to watch any more trailers about this movie should they drop. I'm excited to see it. I'm all in as the poster says. And, you know, let's do this. All right, the last movie is going to be Star Wars. It will premiere on December 15th. I love the Star Wars universe. I'm excited for all things Star Wars. Whoever put this trailer together knows how to cut a trailer. I know everyone has been saying on Twitter that if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch this trailer. I think they put this trailer together on purpose to make us think one thing is going to happen where it's not going to happen that way in the movie. However, if it happens the exact same way as the trailer portrays, I'm still all in for it. Um, I will say that even in the first movie, without seeing this trailer, I did 
certain things that they had Ray do made me think that she was actually going to have touches of the dark side. So I would not be surprised if we go through that route. Um, and although I would be very shocked if they tried to redeem Kylo Ren's character, in my personal opinion, mm. I like where Finn's going with his character. I want to see more from Captain Phasma. So, um, and Poe as well. So I'm definitely on board. Did you have any thoughts? No, I'm, I'm there with you. So with that being said, um, if you want to take a look at all of the movies that we are anticipating for this fall season, you can definitely take a look at that video in our YouTube playlist. Um, we will be bringing you guys reviews of all of the movies that we've discussed in this video. So make sure that you like the video and subscribe so you can get notification when those videos are up. And as always, stay geeky.